Hi, I'm Ricky Irway from OCLC Research. I've been asked to talk to you about a report called Lasting Impact, Sustainability of Disciplinary Repositories. In order to do that, I think we need to talk a little bit about research repositories in general. From a librarian's point of view, they might say, I've developed an institutional repository, I'm committed to preserving research reports that come out of the university, and I'm committed to making them available for use. From researchers' point of view, it might seem more like when I go to look for research outputs, reports, publications, I go to a disciplinary repository. That's where I look for information and that's where I expect my colleagues in other institutions to look for my work. So there's um, different motivations, probably those two types of repositories will continue to coexist for some time. So librarians really need to know about both, and in order to help in that effort, I did a little bit of an environmental scan of, of all of the disciplinary repositories and did close reviews of 23 and selected seven to do more detailed profiles of. And those seven uh, represented seven different business models. The, um, the business models range from a distributed network of volunteers to a commercial service that has freemium services. Um, the, our, the repositories include AgEcon, Archive, Economists Online, ELIS, PubMed Central, REPEC, and SSRN. Many of those are no doubt familiar to you. The report itself is 18 pages. There you'll find a discussion of the sustainability of disciplinary repositories. You'll see the seven business models, some ways to achieve scale, ways to contain costs, and ways to bring in additional revenue. So all those things are important as you give your researchers advice on how to disseminate their research outcomes. The report, as is often the case, has been um, greatly improved by input not just from the staff of the repositories that were profiled, but also from OCLC Research Library Partner staff, and we're always grateful for that input. Thanks.